your views matter. All right, Radio Zindi ke pyare listeners, aap sabhi ko pata hai whenever this amazing music comes on air, you are just all geared up for this exciting show, just ka naam hai Shah Farali Law Show. Kyu na ho bhai? Because you are with one of the best immigration attorneys in here, and Shah is the founder, the president, and the managing attorney of the Shah Farali Law Group, and is a member of the American Immigration Lawyers Association as well as the state bar of california well you know that he is very very passionate advocate of human rights civil rights social action and social services aur sath hi sath he has a strong interest and of course a knowledge of the immigration system the political the legal system in the us he formed this law group to work on the causes that he feels ardent about ye jo law group inhone start kiya hai it actually focuses on immigration law with an emphasis on employment based immigration and helps clients all over the us you know khushi ki baat to ye hai ke uh, you can definitely give us a call with your immigration questions studio lines are open for you 510 770 par agar aap chahte hai ki you want to know more and more about shah pirali to fir zarur check kare pirali law.com and you can fix an appointment there by calling 510 7425887 to chaliye without any further ado let me welcome shah on air hello shah good morning how are you doing today good morning and good morning to all the listeners i hope you can hear me properly of course we are going to talk about immigration law um, and thank you all for listening we are to, we are going to cover different topics and feel free to call if you have any specific questions or you can call our office for any specific question and before i start anything i'm going to tell you today is my opinion you should not act or refrain to act solely on the information provided you should contact an attorney if you have any questions Um anything uh, specific on your side Rini or should I jump in and, and talk a little bit about Well sure Yeah this yeah, this well. morning I just got very excited because there was a news that the US embassy and its consulates in India have launched several new initiatives to cut wait time and increase visa processing across the country i wanted to get it verified by you because abhi to na the current wait time for indian visitors are around uh, 500 to 600 days which is a lot so i just wanted to understand like what is happening in the visa front and uh, what can you tell our listeners Well, there was a big announcement when the the foreign secretary of um, of India came to America. A lot of politics as usual, but unfortunately, in reality, we are not seeing that much of a move. Although they have been saying a lot mm-hmm. of things. For example, they say they are going to allow um, uh, visit a visa without an interview. So basically, you apply and you get it. This we are not seeing a lot either. and plus they say they they put additional uh, um uh slots for student visa student visa a little bit go faster compared to the h1b etc but everything is taking minimum 6 months irregular of course some people are using agents whatever they are doing uh, i don't want to to comment on this anymore but but uh, you need to be careful which agent you're using they are sitting down and trying to get the slots available to allow people to actually get their their the visa time but um we saw a little bit of improvement but i don't think this will be clear uh, probably end of this year hopefully they are going to clear everything but going back to normal pre uh, for like it will used to be like any appointment will take like 6 weeks to 8 weeks i don't see it happening soon because there's a huge backlog and um and even though they are waiving supposedly a lot of interviews we are also seeing a lot of ina221g being issued uh, the ina221g is basically the the administrative processing and that's that's really going to cause a lot of uh, uh it's causing a lot of disturbance because people are going there and then suddenly they get stuck and if they get denied then you are 
if for them to reapply, we're talking about another six to seven months, and ultimately they're losing their job because the companies are not willing to wait. Hmm. So we'll have to see what improvements are there. I'm waiting to see uh, and hear that the improvements are doing better. But definitely it's a little bit better compared to a few months ago, but it's not that great yet. Uh, we are going to wait in the next six months how things unfold, then we can talk a little bit about improvement. That is so true. Ladies and listeners, कभी कभी ऐसा होता है, right? You know के we just read out something uh, online and then you really need to know whether it is true or false. पर कभी कभी ऐसा भी होता है कि आप अकलमंदी का काम जो है वो कर लेते हैं and then you actually talk to a proper person who has immense knowledge about this. और इसीलिए तो हमेशा हम बातें करते हैं about शापेराली. अगर आप उनके साथ एक appointment fix करना चाहते हैं नंबर नोट कर लीजिए 5107425887 पर अगर ऐसा कोई सवाल है जो अभी के अभी आप पूछना चाहते हैं रेडियो जिंदगी स्टूडियो लाइन्स आर ओपन जस्ट फॉर यू 5107701550 है हमारा नंबर यहां पे आप पूछ सकते हैं शाह को ऑन एयर एंड देन यू कैन टेक इट फ्रॉम देयर वेल शाह आई नो यू हैव अ लॉट इन योर स्टोर टुडे तो फिर ओवर टू यू Yes, indeed. I was talking about the IND two two one G earlier. Um, this is the administrative processing that kind of block you, oftentimes when you are going for your visa. What it means in basic terms is that they have to review your either to review your case, because when you get an approval, for example, an NH one B that happens with the Department of Homeland Security, when you go for to the U.S. Embassy, which is the State Department. they kind of do a full review of your case and if they have any kind of issues they will issue they will deny it maybe directly or they will issue the the 221g ina 221g which is like i said the administrative processing and that can take in different can be in different forms number one that it can be a simple one where they are going to do a quick investigation and they usually get back to you within few months there is a second one where basically they are pretty much denying the case they send the case back to the USCIS and the third one is basically a straight denial so the problem is that sometimes people don't know where they stand and uh, usually when they keep your passport is kind of good news most of the time but if they don't then it's kind of a of uh, not good <laughs> and then also there are glitches on the system uh, it would say visa refuse even though they are processing the case So all this are scaring people because many people are went on vacation for stamping and then they're stuck there. And also another thing that is happening a lot you have to be careful when you're going on vacation. And many people going vacation and then suddenly they're getting an email from their company that now they are laid off. Uh uh they won't don't want them back because it's to the advantage of the company once they're gone then they might not have to pay for your for your ticket to go back and um i had many situation where the once they are in india they get an email saying hey you know what we no longer require your services and that becomes a big big issue because if they are going for stamping if your company if for example especially for an h1b and your company is no longer supporting you that means they cannot really approve that h1b in those situation what do you do Well, for one, you can talk to the company and find out when is the termination date. And the problem is that if you uh, once you go for the interview, if there's an interview, they they ask the question. You have to tell the truth. And once they know, they probably will not issue the visa and the passport. And the second thing is that if in case this happens and your H1B is there, you can still try to find another job. but then you will have to find another job get the h1b move to to this and don't use the word transfer because transfer is a different uh, board game although it's the same same kind of uh, process um you will have to file it get it approved you get a 797 and b in this case and you use that 797 b you schedule another appointment and then you go for the interview So because I don't think t- you will get another one on time. Now, if you use 1797B to get an appointment for an interview, 
and then you change, they might accept it or they might not. They might tell you to make another appointment. So be very careful while traveling right now. I don't advise traveling um, for stamping right now, especially if your company is not in good shape or, or doing layoffs, because that's the situation that many, many of the people calling me in the past few weeks have been finding themselves. Once they are in India, they find out that India or another country that they, they are, there's a reduction in employment, et cetera, et cetera. So, this is something which is very common, and as you know, Arini, we are seeing a lot of uh, layoffs, right? Um, that's that's where the situation stands, so be very careful when you're going for stamping. Any questions from your side? Uh, no, not at all, but this is some a very interesting fact because I really know a lot of people who actually just change jobs and they travel to some place and then they got that laid off, uh, you know, paper in hand. So it is very scary and thank you so much, Shah, for bringing it in because I know a lot of people are actually planning some, uh, you know, vacations back in India. So, yes, please, if you have any sort of problems like that or, you know, upcoming travel plans uh, and you need some immigration advice, you know what you can do. You can always give us a call right here. Here right now 510-770-1550 है हमारा नंबर पर अगर आप शापराली से एक पर्सनल अपॉइंटमेंट फिक्स करना चाहते हैं तो फिर जरूर चेक करें पिराली लॉ डॉट कॉम यू नो न्यूयॉर्क में हो या फिर सैन फ्रांसिस्को या फिर वाशिंगटन डीसी यू कैन डेफिनेटली मीट हिम ओवर देयर या फिर आप फोन पे अपॉइंटमेंट फिक्स कर सकते हैं बाय कॉलिंग फाइव ओवर टू यू Yes, indeed, Rini. Uh, so we are seeing a lot of, of, of weird stuff happening, just like everything else right now with the climate, with the jobs, with the economy, and with the war. We, uh, honestly, none of us are really able to, to really kind of uh, understand what is happening on many fronts. But one thing we know is that you need to take your precautions because layoffs are happening, but at the same time, high, a lot of hiring. Uh, from the from the data I'm getting, almost 80% of the people who have been terminated already got got uh, uh, another job. Got already hired, so mm. which is good news. Um, so I will I will recommend that uh, that you actually kind of make sure you talk to an attorney before you leave. Uh, so it's not. So it's not it's not really something that you should just take lightly because uh, you need to have a backup plan. And many people ask me the question: Should they go work for a small uh, uh, a small company, a small consulting company, or something? Well, as long as it's a genuine job offer, take it because you don't want to stay too long without a job because after your 60 days grace period, things are going to get bad. Uh, so I will I will recommend that you make things work for you. Um, it's uh, it's not it's not for everybody that they're getting laid off. By the way, <laughs> most people are keeping their jobs, mm -hmm. but the few that are getting laid off, uh, that you need to be careful. Try to file options. A lot of my clients also are deciding. You know, they will take a break. They go back to India, stay there, and they ask the question: Is that once the six days is passed, can they revive the H1? Of course you can. You have to file it, under the, and then you will get a 7, uh, 797B, and um, it, and with that 797B, you can actually kind of, uh, of, uh, of uh, make sure that um, you go for your stamping if you don't have a stamp on your passport, and then you can come back. By the way, if you already have a stamp with the company A, you don't lose that stamping. The stamp is the one that is appears on your passport. But the 797A that you have, that would be gone after 60 days if you get laid off. So then you will need to file another one and then come back. So it is something that you need to know how it works so that you don't put yourself into a trap and then um, go and try to get another appointment for stamping if you have a stamp on your passport. Even the stamping is made for company A, you can use it for company B, C, and D. So that's one rule that you should know. And of course, a lot of people worried about their dream card. Uh, what happens to it? If your case is under processing, you get terminated. I-140 has not been filed. There's not much you can do about it. But if I-140 is filed, you can still at least use that for priority date. 
And if an adjustment of status is filed, then you're in a different ball game because you benefit from AC21. So um, I'm very, um, uh, it's very sad what is happening, but it's going to happen a lot this year. This year is not going to be an easy year, but there are ways out, right? For example, some people can qualify for EB1A. Even the dates are retrogress a little bit, you're still in better shape because we can take your old priority date and move it here and actually get you what we call your, your green card. So I, I will recommend that you talk to a lawyer who has experience. Just don't go on forums. Today, well, yesterday, I got like three consultations and the stuff that they were telling me, and I keep saying that, that they saw on forums, it doesn't have a head, it doesn't have a tail, whatever they are saying, I never heard of it. And I don't know what those people are writing on those forums because I don't read those, but they are telling people so many things that not only are confusing, but it's complete misinterpretation of the law. They don't even know how it works and they are advising people. And I understand you want to share your experience, but stop giving legal advice when you're not a lawyer because you are putting people's lives in danger. And one person was so scared that she even was booking her ticket to leave. And there was no reason to be scared because you, she had other rights that she could, she could exercise. But, but the fact that she read on a forum, someone posted this or a friend told her, she got really, really scared. And she, luckily she called me actually early in the morning uh, because I do my consultations very oftentimes early in the morning. And then I was able to talk to her and explain, no, there's no problem there. But you should not rely on those forums just to think that they are giving good advice because they are not legal advice, right? And that's one thing that we are seeing a lot because people just have nothing to do. They, they're writing on forums, they're writing on everywhere because they're panicking and they're giving their opinion. And their opinion is no good if you're not a lawyer. And plus, even if you're giving good law, it's not, you should not be confusing and scaring people. There's no profit in that, right? Hmm. So that's one, one thing I'm, I'm going to advise you. Just don't make that mistake because when you come to me already that your mind is set on something and it, that thing is not, is not really the right thing, you're going, to, you're going to put yourself into more trouble than helping yourself. So that's that's my take of, on on this uh, when it comes to reading those forums. There's nothing wrong, but be careful what you take as advice. Any any question from your side? Uh, yes, Shah. Actually, I wanted to ask you uh, about somebody's unique uh, situation right now. So he actually changed company, uh, went to a new company, and then uh, he got an email that he needs to join, like leave Bay Area and join a place in Arizona because there is a there is an urgent need in the project. I, I, I am I'm having some issues with hearing you, Vini. Can you can you hear me now? That you, sorry, my connections are not great today. My network is not uh, working properly. That's can okay. Can you repeat that question? Yeah. Can you hear me now? Yeah, okay, that. okay. Yeah. So, yeah, so uh, we have one person who actually changed the job and then uh, the new job asked him to leave Bay Area and join a place in Arizona. So he flew over there, shipped everything from here, rented an apartment and after two days of joining office, he just got to know that he is being laid off. And that layoff later is of a previous date than him leaving Bay Area. So his question is, in this case, can he file a, a legal complaint with the company? Well, if they ask them to join and then they, they don't hire them, that's what you, 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 um, you, you, can, you, you are asking me, right? So they ask them to join, they love their company, and then they terminate them. Right. <coughs> right? Well, right. unfortunately, most of the states it will be legal uh, because they, they, most of the people are employed at will. There's nothing that forces someone to join a company and vice versa, the company to hire you. That's the sad part of it. Mm. But what I would recommend people to do first get their... Um, there's no way to guarantee that, right? Uh, no matter, unless you're like a high star 
baseball player, singer, where your your contract, you have a very strong contract. Uh, there's nothing that forces them to hire you. So this is a risk that a lot of people are taking. So I would recommend if your company is doing well, stick to that company. I just got a call from a client who wanted to run things by me, and he told me he said he feels safer with the company where he is. Can he just stay? Yes, you can stay mm. even if your transfer is already completed. Even if someone file a transfer for you of H one B from company A to company B, you can elect to stay with company A. There's nothing to be done. So I recommend uh, that you actually um, you actually kind of uh, make sure that you get it uh, you get it right. But unfortunately, there's no way you can get full protection because. That's the way the system works in America. It's a capitalist system. They can hire or not hire. But of course, if they promise you a lot of stuff, and you are someone of exceptional ability, unique, etc., you might be able to enforce some contract law. But that's more an employment side, not immigration. So mm. I don't want to pronounce that. Okay, so perfect. So I think that answers your question. But that's a sad part. A lot of people face that actually. Right. So yes, uh, listener, if you are listening, then you know. Like, uh, if you have further question related to immigration, you can definitely give a call to Shah. Five one zero seven four two five eight eight seven is the number. And if you want to know more about Shah Pirali, then zaroor check out kare pirali law dot com. You know that he is really, really a passionate advocate of human rights, civil rights, social action, and social services. And he has immense knowledge about this because he. has been in this immigration field for very very long time so yes agar aapko koi bhi immigration related issues hai pareshan karke rakha hai agar immigration ne aapko to fir you know what you have to do you need to talk to a person who is knowledgeable and who is dependable and uh, nahi uh, not only because today is national compliment day i really know that shah actually excels in this field aur uh, isiliye i want all of you to contact him 5107425887 is the number over to you sha hello all right looks like uh, we are having some issues on shah's front so par aap sunte rahi radio zindagi 1550 same you know about shapir ali that he is the founder the president and the managing attorney of the shapir ali law group pc in new york california and uh, he is a member of the american immigration lawyers association uh, you know you can always always contact him because he is very very passionate about what he does and he has a lot of uh, you know lot and lot of knowledge about the immigration the social uh, service the legal the political system in the us to isiliye agar aap soch rahe hain ki there are some problems that you want to discuss with him uh, you know what you can do you can always connect to 510742 5887 well i know that time is running out and we have only 3 minutes but uh, let's see if we can get shah on air again par uh, filhal aapko main bata dun ki agar shah pir ali ke sath aap koi bhi uh, ek appointment fix karna chahte hai you know the number par agar aap unke bare mein aur bhi zyada jankari chahte hai to fir zarur check kare pirali law.com p double e r a डबल एल वाई एल ए डब्ल्यू डॉट कॉम यू विल गेट अ लॉट ऑफ नो हाउस अबाउट वॉट इज हैपनिंग इन द इमिग्रेशन फ्रंट एंड यू नो दैट दीज आर समथिंग वेरी 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 इम्पॉर्टेंट वेल आई थिंक लाइक वी हैव शाह बैक हेलो शाह हेलो हे शाह Uh, yeah he is connecting to the audio so he'll be back here very soon uh hello sha can you hear me yes yes i'm so sorry uh um, no we don't have much time left now only 2 minutes and yes. i apologize today my connection my network is not working properly i i really apologize but hey yeah, this is often part of the technical issues so uh, i just wanted to tell people we have few minutes left i don't know if you got any call in between but um since we we have only 2 minutes left just wanted to tell them to be very careful um about before they make any move 
or any changes or go for stamping, talk to an attorney and you can call us 510-7425-887. Anything on your side, Rini? No, uh, <laughs> since we have only like around one and a half minute, I really wanted you to conclude the show. Okay, so since we are finished, I just wanted to tell you if you need help, H1B season is opening for companies. If you need any help with your green card, your H1B, your EB1A, family petitions, uh, you name it, please give us a call, 510-7425-887. You can check our website, turalilow.com. Thank you, Rene. Thank you all to all the listeners. Anything I told you today is my opinion. You should not act or refrain to act solely on the information provided. You should contact an attorney if you have any questions. Thank you. Take care. Uh, we'll be back next week, same time. All right, traders and listeners, if you want to know more about Shah Pirali, please check it out at piralilaw.com number. So, you have noted it, but I will tell you again, 510-742-5887. Well, in this way, you can join with Shah Pirali Law Show and Shah Pirali. You know, next week, we will be back same day, same time, or every Tuesday, around 9.35, Shah comes on air. Filhal, thank you so much, Shah, for your time and hope you will have a wonderful week ahead.